you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. And today I'm going to be speaking to you to an, about a new company called Gold on Resources. This is a sponsored video. Thank you, Gold on Resources, for sponsoring this video. And this is another company that we want you to put on your watch list. It's another company we want you to put on your radar. We're going to go through some of their news. You can see right here, Gold on receives geophysical interpretation on West Madsen Gold Project in Red Lake, Ontario. Preparations underway for fall drilling along the prospective Balmer Confederation contact that is interpreted to transverse the property for eight kilometers. This is from Victoria, British Columbia on October 14, 2020. Gold on Resources GLD in Canada on the Trump Stock Venture Exchange is pleased to announce it has received final geophysical interpretation report on the West Madsen Project, Patterson Grant and Watson Limited PGW was contracted to provide a detailed analysis interpretation of a 50 meter line spaced airborne magnetic survey completed on the block A and B claims in 2017 by Great Bear Resources. Take a look at the property. And you can see the legend and see all the zones of exploration. So this is the recent news that just came out. The PGW report includes a detailed lithological and structural interpretation of the property in conjunction with the regional mapping, rock sampling, regional soil gas, hydrocarbon survey, and the recent drilling program. The data sets present a compelling exploration target based on these data sets and with the recent addition of the Madsen Medicine Stone Claim Group, the prospective Balmer Assemblage Confederation Assemblage contact is interpreted to traverse across Goldon's property for approximately eight kilometers. This prospective contact is a key target in the Red Lake Greenstone Belt and is spatially associated with the most of the current and past producing gold mines. There is the key here. The PGW report is being combined with the data collected from field programs completed to date and our exploration team is designing a second drilling program to test several new targets across block A of the West Madsen property this fall, said Mike Romanic, president of Goldon. The long strike extension of Pure Gold's russet south and wedge zone stratigraphy that are interpreted to trend west onto Goldon's property present a highly prospective series of first order gold exploration targets. So this is very big news. And we can see that the stock is moving today. Let's take a look at the stock. So this is gold on, on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange at 66 cents, up 10% today. And the volume is 176,000 shares at 67 cents. So some reasonable volume too for a junior miner. Here's gold on resources in America currently at 50 cents and up 16% and traded 55,000 shares so far in America today. Now, why would you be interested in Gold on Resources? You can go to their website, goldonresources.com and learn everything that they're doing. You can see gold exploration in Ontario. I am very bullish on gold. I like junior miners. I'm always looking for undervalued underappreciated, underexposed junior gold miners. You can see here, January, 2019, they sold the rainy gold mining claims to new gold. March, 2017 sold Patterson Lake mining claims to Avalon Advanced Materials. January, 2017 sold Pickle Crow mining claims to First Mining Finance. And December, 2016 sold Swayze mining claims to IM Gold. You can look at the investor fact sheet and download it right off the website. 
And I do have the investor presentation right here. We can quickly go through some of the key points. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always consult a financial advisor and do your own due diligence and your own research before you invest in anything, okay? Gold on Resources is a Canadian mineral exploration company focused on discovery stage properties with a goal. Every project is to define and redefine the exploration opportunity, maintain ownership control during the value creation phase of discovery, and then source a well-financed partner capable of accelerating resource definition and development. Love it. I absolutely love that focus. Goldon also practices fiscal responsibility with a proven track record of monetizing non-core assets and raising capital as needed. The objective is to minimize shareholder dilution and devote capital to exploration, not excessive salaries and expenses. Love it. While mineral exploration is a high-risk business, it has consistently been success in the discovery phase of a project's lifespan that has created the greatest wealth for resource sector investors. Everybody needs companies that have success. This is a company that's focused on it, and I like that. Let's talk about their share structure. Obviously, if you guys have been watching Rich TV Live, you know I'm a huge fan of a tight share structure, tight float. Insider holdings, 20% of issued and outstanding. Huge. I love that. Gold on CEO Mike Romanic with 9%. That's a good chunk. Insiders plus close associates hold 40%. And strategic investors include Gold Corp founder Rob McEwen. You can see warrants, 4264350 at an average price of $0.53. Cents, and they're already in the money because they're at $0.66. Cents. So these guys are already in the money with the warrants, which means the money can the company can raise money. And that's extremely important for companies to be able to raise money. Stocks, stock options at an average price of 41 cents. So as well, the options are in the money. So there's $2.6 million of stock options. Sorry, 2.6 million shares of stock options, 4.2 million shares of warrants. So 18,613,432 shares issued and outstanding and fully diluted with warrants and options, 25,507,782 shares fully diluted, which makes this half of what I consider a great share structure. I consider a great, a great tight share structure, 50 million shares. The fact that they only have 25 million fully diluted is a huge, huge, huge check mark for me. <laughs> it's a huge catalyst for me, in my opinion. So I love that. 52 week high of $1.15 and a 52 week low of 20 cents. So we have a lot of upside to get to 115 still from these levels, as you can see at 66 cents. We also have some downside if it was to go to its all time low of. 20 cents. And if we scroll out and we go to the one year chart, we can see that they have been trending up from 20 cents all the way to 66 cents. They've been trending up. You can see here in March when everybody kind of took a, its hit because of COVID-19, they hit their bottom and you can see that they were at their highest in December before the COVID-19, which tells me that there's a very good likelihood that we may see them go back there. So I think there's some upside here. I think there's a very good chance we could see them go back up to that 115, 120 zone pretty comfortably. Uh, that's what I'd be looking at as an investor for this to climb and get back to where it hit previously, that 115 zone right around here. So I think there's a lot of upside, even from 66 cents to 115, we're talking almost hundred percent gains. So I really like that potential there. Now, if we continue to scroll down here, a baby market cap of only 11,300,000, that is literally a baby market cap. 
So some of the corporate highlights, five discovery stage projects in the prolific gold mining belts of Northern Ontario. So they are focused in Northern Ontario. These are some of the key points. West Madsen property is an option joint venture with Great Bear Resources, which is another huge junior miner that's been very successful, that it joins the Pure Gold Red Lake Mine, Canada's next gold mine, where they expect to be pouring gold before Christmas. Let's take a look at Great Bear Resources. Great Bear Resources. Sorry, not a junior miner. Obviously, these guys are big players. I was thinking of somebody else at $16.27. And this is a stock that's gone from $3 to a high of 19 and is currently finding a floor at $16. Wow, what a huge home run Great Bear Resources has been. And they have an option joint venture with Great Bear Resources. That's huge. Wow. And that is adjoining the Pure Gold Red Lake Mine, Canada's next gold mine, where they expect to be pouring gold before Christmas. That is a massive catalyst. Preparing for fall drilling to follow up on their initial 2020 drilling that resulted in a new gold discovery at West Matson within the key Balmer statigraphy that hosts all major deposits in the Red Lake Greenstone Belt. Perry English joined Goldon as a strategic advisor, referred to as a one-man project generator. He is an accomplished prospector who specializes in Ontario's Red Lake area. These are huge catalysts, guys. Bruce Lake Project is in a structurally active area of Red Lake, and Goldon is monitoring drilling ongoing by neighbors, BTU Metals, and Great Bear Resources. BTU Metals. Let's take a look at BTU Metals. B2 metals at 20 cents. I would suggest you add them to your watch list, add them to your radar as well. Pipe Stone Bay project in Red Lake Camp expanded to amalgamate claim blocks. Heliborn mag survey and structural interpretation completed. Primary drill target identified. Mag survey and structural interpretation identified. Primary target area at McDonough project that it joins Battle North Gold Slate Bay Gold Project in Red Lake. New geological and structural study of Slate Falls property recommends five new areas of exploration where deformation, folding, shearing, and faulting have been mapped. New NI43101 technical report. Those are the key catalysts. These are some of the projects, all fully permitted with year-round access and short driving distance to local infrastructure. So you can see some of the properties here and projects. This is the West Matson project. So some huge, huge projects on the go. And this is a company that I think everybody needs to put on their watch list and put on their radar. I think there's some huge catalyst coming and we clearly have a tight share structure, strong management team with big experience. And it seems as though these guys have everything working for them, like everything working for them and some huge catalysts on the way. This is the next gold mine. Pure gold on plan to pour gold before Christmas. So this is what everyone's talking about right now. These guys plan to pour gold before Christmas. That is why we are bringing them to your attention right now because we wanna make sure that you guys understand every company that's undervalued, underexposed, underappreciated before they explode. This has already been as high as, like I showed you guys earlier, $1.15 and as low as 20. 
And right now at 66 cents, I think we see them potentially go back to $1.15. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you like this, please drop a like if you have any questions or you would like to ask me or learn more about anything, please comment down below. I'd love to know what you think about Gold On Resources, a company that I believe has the potential to explode. And I'm going to continue to do my research. I'm going to continue to do my due diligence and look for reasons why. But I also want to know with our community, what do you guys think? Do you guys like gold on resources? Are you buying gold on resources? Do you see where they're located and how they're right beside Great Bear Resources, a $16 stock and BTU metals? So two other gold miners, this could be huge, absolutely enormous. And I wanna make sure if this company explodes that you guys are aware of it and you guys know about it first. That has always been our modus operandi here on Rich TV Live. This is the Pipestone Bay project. They got the drill permits in place. And six reasons why Gold On West Madsen project could be Red Lake's next major gold discovery. Permits are in hand for drilling in West Madsen project this fall where no drilling has ever been done. Huge. Same geolog geological characteristics as recent Red Lake discoveries, the Balmer Confederation contact, which trends west onto the West Madsen property. It is a high priority exploration target and where pure gold reserves and resources are hosted. This is the Slate Falls project. Structurally complex with three events of folding, F1, F2, and F3, and D formation, D1, D2, and D3. So this is just a company that has so many projects. It's unbelievable. The prospective Balmer Confederation contact is interpreted to transact the recently acquired claims and continue on to West Madsen Block A for eight kilometers. So these are some of the key reasons why Gold On Resources has a chance to be an absolute winner and why I think our community needs to put them on their watch list and on their radar. Look at all these projects. I mean, I haven't really seen a company with this many projects. And these are quality projects with a management team that has had a track record of success. The Pure Gold Red Lake Mine Project includes the Wedge Deposit PAA status that is within 270 meters of the West Madsen Claims boundary. Initial drilling results in new gold discovery of West Madsen within the Key Balmer Statigraphy that hosts all major deposits in the Red Lake Greenstone Belt. These are all keys and catalysts and reasons why you need to put gold on resources on your watch list and on your radar. And why I think there's a very good chance we could see them go to a dollar and beyond. Perry English, aka Mr. Red Lake, one of the most successful prospector entrepreneurs on the Canadian exploration scene, joined Goldon as a strategic advisor. So this is the management team. And in addition, Perry English, who is a mover and shaker. This is Perry English right here. There's his photo. This is the man, the myth, the legend. And he comes highly touted based on his success. So these are all reasons why I think you need to put this company on your watch list, put them on your radar. I think there's huge upside here. I think there's huge potential. And remember Rich TV Live, we always talk about buy the dips, sell the rips. When we do a video, we're not trying to tell you to go buy it today. Put it on your watches, put it on your radar, do your due diligence, do your research, create conversations, come back, let me know what you think. Are you buying the stock? Do you think they're going to be the next big winner? Will Gold on Resources, GLD, 
in Canada, NCMBF in America, 6NR2 in Frankfurt, Germany, West Madsen property could host the next big gold discovery in Red Lake. If this happens, we need to be the ones that know about it first. We need to be the ones to take advantage of this opportunity. We need to take advantage of the upside. And if this explodes and they're pouring gold before Christmas, we need to know about it. We got to talk about it. We need to be on top of it. Okay. So this is why I think this is a company that everybody should put on the radar and everyone should put on their watch list. Tight share structure, strong management team, lots of projects. They've got everything I'm looking for in a company that is going to be successful. You can see they're fully transparent. Here's the warrant schedule and their stock ops and schedule. So everything is fully transparent for everyone to see. Love to know what you guys think. If you have any questions, please let me know. There's all the contact details for the company. And I also would love to know, I do not have shares. I am not a shareholder, but if I do buy shares or sell shares in this company, I will let it be known. Um, but they are definitely one that I'm watching. And if you compare them to some other companies that are in some similar regions and zones, like Great Bear Resources, GBR in Canada, GTBAF in America, currently share price of which I showed you guys around $16 and an 800 million market cap. And meanwhile, Gold on Resources, I showed you guys a small little baby market cap of only 11 million. I believe the upside is exponential. Pure Gold Mining, another company, PGM, currently priced over $2 with a 930 million market cap. Enormous upside when you think of the potential evolution mining, CAHPF in America, $5 stock, you know, huge potential there, 9.92 billion market cap, and Newmont Corp, NEM in Canada, NGT, sorry, NEM on the New York Stock Exchange, NGT on the Toronto Stock Exchange, $81 stock, 66.69 billion market cap for Newmont Corp. Imagine what Goldmont, Gold on Resources could become GLD in Canada. Here's the stock once again. GLD in Canada up 10% as the market is still alive right now. And in America up 15% at 50 cents. Love to know what you guys think. Let me know. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with Gold on Resources, GLD in Canada, NCMBF in America, and 6 and R2 in Frankfurt, Germany. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you winners and we bring them to you first. I think we have a winner here. Love to know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep it on your radar. Keep it on your watch list. And thank you for watching. Have yourself a nice day.